We've got Merritt Centennial's goaltender Lino Chimenti on the, with us here, and uh, Lino, the Leadership and Ability Award. Uh, tell us, what does it mean to win that one? Uh, it's a great honor, uh, unbelievable, just for my teammates and my coaching staff to be seen as a leader and a guy who carries the team without a letter on my jersey, and it's just truly unbelievable. Now, one thing that Luke mentioned was the fact that uh, prior to these uh, awards were chosen by the coaches. Now, with your teammates' input being thrown in there this year for the award, does it mean a little bit more? Oh, definitely, for sure. You could see if you're seen by your teammates as a leader, then it really shows because they're the ones who see you the most and all the time. Coaches only see a little bit, but if the teammates see you as a leader, then it's truly great. Now. As a goaltender, you can't wear a letter. I know that Roberto Luongo is one of your big heroes, but do you find it maybe a little more difficult to be that type of person on the ice probably, off the ice maybe not so much? Uh, you have it exactly right. On the ice is a bit harder to like talk to the refs or talk to the players. We could lead by, most of the time when you're on the ice, you're leading by example, by the work ethic, the way you play. And then off the ice, if you've got a few things to say in the dressing room, you say them. I'm more of a quiet leader. I'll say when I need to say it. I'm not a guy who's going to rile the team up and all that we got other guys to do their part how about on the um, when you are out there on the ice are you a vocal guy are you ever sort of saying things to guys or anything like that on the ice it's more it's such a fast game that you can't really like direct it's more little quick directions if anything but most time most of the mistakes are corrected or if anything you know what someone needs to be woken up it's usually in the dressing room or anything how much was it an adjustment for you to sort of uh, assume a leadership role with this club? You came in, uh, you know, um, six weeks or so into the season or somewhere around there, and then you end up coming into a group that had so many first-year players, but you were a first-year player yourself in this league. Was it something that you grew into, or was it something that you felt comfortable with right away? Well, I think with guys seeing that I've already played a year of junior, even though it wasn't in this league, they no noticed me as a leader, just seeing I've been through that 60 game schedule, that hectic schedule that most midget players or junior B players, they do play, but it's not as hectic. And uh, I found a really easy transition with Steve never said a word. He always said to encourage me. And I think that was the biggest part with being on the same page as Steve Jones and Wally all together. And then later Cameron, we were always on the same page and just pushing the team forward. Now, how about going into next season as a 20-year-old? Obviously, this is, uh, I would think, a leadership role that you're going to relish a bit more. Oh, definitely, for sure. I'm going to enjoy every minute of it and uh, just going to say what I need to say always. And... Now, how about, how about Roberto Luongo? Are we looking at maybe changing any BCHL rules here? Should uh, Luke maybe be interested in putting the C on you? Uh, I don't know. It's a bit different. <laughs> I wouldn't really... It doesn't really bother me. It would be a great honor, like I said. I know a kid in our league last year, he was a 20-year-old goalie, and he had an A on his thing, on his jersey. He was more, it was more for show than anything else, but just with this award, it's just recognized by my teammates that I'm a leader, and that's good enough for me. Well, and I, I was sort of kidding on that, you know. Uh, but, but all kidding aside, uh, uh, when you're looking at uh, future prospects to schools and things like that, uh, and confidence, too, obviously it's, it's a feather in your cap to receive this award, too. Oh, for sure. They look at that and say that this could lead, maybe not his first year as a freshman, but later on in his years. It just proves to you that most of the, I see this as a more like a work ethic type of leadership role and how I react on the ice and trying to push players to just bring compete the bring their A game in practice also because that's exactly what you need to get better. Right on Lino, thanks for this. Thanks a lot.